So you should have now successfully installed Python onto your computer and we're ready to proceed to the next step, which is to download PyCharm. Again, in the course resources, you'll find a link to the homepage to download PyCharm. And once you get to this page, you should click on the download button and this takes you to the options page. Now here, it should automatically select your system. So currently I'm on a Windows computer and it's automatically selected the Windows tab. And you can click on the system requirements to make sure that your computer is compatible. And you can also take a look at the installation instructions, which is pretty simple. It's basically download and run. So there's two versions of PyCharm, the professional and the community version. You're going to select the community version because it's completely free and open source to use. The professional version has a free trial and after that you'll have to pay for it. But the community version already has all of the features that we need and more. Once you click on download, that will take a little while, anywhere between five to 10 minutes. So while you're waiting for that to run, you can head over to the next lesson and I'll talk about some of the features of PyCharm that we can look forward to. Now, if you're on a Mac, the process is pretty much the same. So head over to the link that's in the course resources, click on download and download the community version of PyCharm. Now, if you're a Linux user, you can also toggle to the Linux tab. And while you're here, you can look at the system requirements and the installation instructions. Once you're ready, go ahead and click on the download button for the community edition, which is free and open source, and then download will begin. And again, it'll take anywhere between five to 10 minutes. So let it download and head over to the next lesson where I wanna show you some of the great features of PyCharm.